Good morning, YouTube. Um, we are fixing to work on the Chevy Lumina to 93. Uh, she's running a little rough, and we're fixing to do a test to find out what's firing and what's not firing. Um, I've got this thing here. Picked it up for about, I think it's about 20 bucks. And uh, we're going to use it to test and see what spark plug's not firing. I'm pretty sure I got a bad coil, but we're going to open this up and take a look at it. Alright. I had a spark plug tester that had the idiot light on it and couldn't find out. I'm thinking I wasn't getting any fire on none of them, but yet it was running and come to find out the bulb was bad in it the whole time. So I had no idea what was actually going on with it. Okay, now this here is uh, the clip goes, you just ground this out to something. This here adjusts the, this here is like two Calvin, whatever a Calvin is. Don't know, haven't looked it up three and four it said most of them's going to run about a two so you unscrew this thing to about there that's the two might be a little too much there we go and then we're going to pull a plug wire put this in the end of the plug wire and ground this out to something and see what happens come over here plug wires are fairly new so it should come off with no problem Now, we're going to pull the plug wire here. We're going to plug this. All right. Now we're going to plug this into the end of the plug wire. A nice little clip there. And we're going to ground this out to something. A bolt somewhere or something. Prop him up here. Oh, that'd be nice if it stays right there. All right, now we're gonna ground this out to a bolt that we can reach somewhere. Try this one right here. All right, that should be good. Now we are gonna try to start the car and see what happens. See if we're getting spark or not. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see that or not. Definitely a nice little spark going on in there. That one is definitely firing. Alright, let's shut her off and move to another one. So that one is definitely working. And another thing with the idiot light, one that I had, you plug it in, it might light up, but you're getting such a weak arc that the plug won't fire. With this here, you're definitely going to see for it to jump that far, it's got to have quite a bit of current behind it. So even if it's weak, it'll let you know something ain't right. Alright. I'm going to hook this plug wire back up. Mm, got to get that click. Mm. Alright, now we're going to try one of these. Maybe. Hopefully I can get it off there without tearing anything up. Now, I'm just going to do one off of each coil. 
That was the center coil. Let's see what two are coming off of here. That one there, and that was in the back. I'm just trying to do the ones up front here. I'm not trying to go around back. Do that once I got to. Okay, that one came off. All good. All good. Now let's hook our little uh, test light back up here. Click him in there. Nice little click click. Hope he'll stay right there again. Can you see anything? It's just so out of focus, isn't it? There we go. There we got it. All right. Uh, now we're going to try to start it again and see what happens. As you can see, that one is definitely not firing. So I have a bad coil. But anyhow, that is how you test. Spark plug tester. That one there is a more guaranteed way of doing it rather than the one with the idiot light in it. Um, as far as these different settings go on there, you can look up your vehicle and find out what setting it's supposed to be at. Um, mine was the 2 Calvin, whatever Calvin is. Uh, like I said, I got the ignition tester at the auto parts place. Uh, it was about 20 bucks. Uh, definitely better than the one with the idiot light in it. Um, Alright, I hope that helps you out, and uh, thanks for watching, uh, hit like, subscribe, and talk to you next time, bye.